Hey everybody, this is Chris from Killer Arcade Games. Today I'm going to be talking about what I think the best version of MAME is for Killer Instinct. I think it's actually going to surprise some of you guys. So before I get to that, let me get to the beginning part here. I make a lot of videos on this channel about arcade one-up cabinets, turning them into uh, your favorite arcade game that they may not make. Now that includes me coming up with what I'd like to call like a standardized, this is the PC I use for all my builds. It covers a lot of bases, a wide range of them. That PC is the HP Elite Desk 800. I use it in my NFL Blitz cabinet. I used it in my Mortal Kombat 2 cabinet after the original PC failed, and now I'm using it in the Killer Instinct cabinet. I think it's a great PC to use for MAME in general. Now it does have a few quirks, and I'll address that stuff in the description, a few tips and tricks. There's gonna be some video links down there if you bought the HP Elite Desk from one of my links and you're having some trouble with it, check that first, or leave me a comment and I'll be glad to try to help you out. When I originally built this cabinet, it had an old computer in it from like 2008. I used the MAME version that seemed to work great at the time, which was MAME 139, 32-bit, because I didn't have a 64-bit system at the time. And I figured, why not upgrade? I'm, I might as well get the newer version of MAME. There's gotta be a good one out there. I know of a few releases of MAME that I really like, so I decided to try those, and I noticed that they all stuttered at one particular point. Anytime the game transitioned from the versus screen to the actual fight, it would stutter. And here's an example of that. Fight already. Fight already. Jeep Thunder. Fight already. Okay, I know that may not bother you guys that much, but it really bothered me. It would do it on the attract mode when the music was playing. I hated it. I, I know this is not a real arcade cabinet but I want it to perform as close to the real thing as possible, so I want a good version of MAME. I did a lot of research, ended up finding out that MAME 139 32-bit works best, even if you're running a 64-bit newer PC, it seems to perform the best. Now, you don't have to use that version of MAME for all of your games. I do have another video that will tell you how to launch multiple versions of MAME using LaunchBox seamlessly. It's very easy. You can launch MAME 139 for Killer Instinct, or you can launch MAME 175 for Blitz, or you can launch the newest version of MAME. You just set them all up separately. That's a whole other video, so just go look for that in the description. Now, I will say, if you are running this exact HP PC that I used, I did run into a few hiccups. For some reason, this HP PC has an issue where the lines appear on the screen. It's something to do with the video setting. So what I did is went in and fixed that in the MAME.ini file. I understand that that is not easy for everyone to find or to know how to generate that file. So what I've done is I've actually included my file for the MAME.ini, dropped it into my Google Drive, and I'm sharing it in the description below. I strongly recommend you do that because I've also found a way to remove any screen tearing that was originally happening. Before, when this uh, KI logo would pop up, there would always be a line that ran across the screen, and I thought it was just something we had to deal with. Turns out there's a setting in that MAME.ini file I changed it, turned it on, I get no more screen tearing. So, if you're running the HP computer and you want it to run just like mine does here with no flickering or no issues with the screen, go ahead and grab that file, install MAME as you normally would, but dump that MAME.ini file into your main MAME folder. I know this sounds confusing. Go into your MAME folder once it's installed, paste in MAME.ini. If by chance it asks you, do you want to replace the file that's already there. If there is one, choose yes. Replace the file, launch it. It should look a lot better and you should be good to go. Overall, I just think MAME 139 32-bit works best. If you guys have a better version that you want me to try out, I will gladly check it out, but I've tried all different versions spanning from different years of MAME releases and this seems to be the best for me. It also works really well for KI2, so I don't think there's any reason to experiment much more unless you guys really come up with something different for me to try. Leave me a comment down below if this was helpful. I would really like to hear that. Leave me a comment telling me your version of MAME that you think runs it best. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. One more side note, if you're downloading the version of MAME from my link here, just know there will not be ROMs or CHD files in it. Primarily because I don't want to get in any trouble, I don't want any copyright strikes, so this is just a version of MAME that you can get legally anywhere. The other file is literally just a settings file, so there's no ROMs, you're going to have to source those on your own, it's not that hard to find. A quick Google search, archive.org typically has some good resources for you. So just look for it, look for a MAME 139 ROM set, and that's all I'm going to say on that so I don't get in any trouble.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I typically do arcade content. It can be arcade one-up content, modding, whatever. I'll play classic arcade games on live stream. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Supreme victory! Idiots!